Hi guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you the lateral braid. This is also re referred to as the Estonian braid or the Vickle braid. But what it is, is it's just a way of taking your live stitches and passing them over to create this pretty lateral chain. They kind of look like bound off stitches but in the middle of your work. So I'm going to be showing you this method today. And before we get started, I just want to show you a little sample here. If you were to do this method with just your regular needles that you're using for your particular pattern, for instance, this little swatch here was made with the number 10 six millimeter needles. But as you can see, when we did our little lateral braid, what it does is it creates these very wide, big, oversized, loopy stitches. And that just happens from this actual method of creating this lateral braid. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that and we'll kind of tighten up this next row of stitches and make them a lot prettier. And if you look at my swatch that I have here, you can see that they look nice and uniform with the rest of our work. And you keep a lot more even gauge and it just looks a lot better. So I'm going to show you how we're going to achieve that. With this piece of work here, I did use size 10, the same size that I mentioned earlier on that previous swatch, so six millimeter needles. And I just did one by one rib here at the bottom. And then you can't tell, but the work up here is also knit with size 10 needles. It just looks a lot better than this first swatch. So that really goes to show you how much these loose loopy stitches affect the gauge of your work above that row. Okay, so let's get started. Now in order to perform this lateral braid, we want to first create the row just below it, which is going to be a wrong side row, on a smaller size needle. And that's just going to help with our tension of our lateral braid. So since I'm using a size 10, I want to go down to a size six needle. So I have a size six here, um, which is a four millimeter. And since I'm working in stockinette, we're simply going to purl this wrong side row of stitches. Slip my first stitch here. Okay. I'm gonna purl across my row. Okay, I've reached the end of my row, and that was a wrong side row. Now I'm going to take my size 10 needle and put that down. And remember, we're going to be working with our size 6 needle. And we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to perform that lateral braid. And I'm just slipping my stitches here in this particular pattern. So I'll get my yarn set up so it's coming from the back. Okay, now before we perform this lateral braid, the way that you work this particular uh, method is you want to increase by one stitch before you get started. So in order to do that, we're simply going to do a cable cast on of one stitch. And we'll place that on the end of our needle. Now we'll start the actual repeat of this lateral braid. So we're going to go into our work, into the second stitch on our needle purlwise, like so. We're going to knit that stitch. And this can be a little tricky, so you may have to twist your work here to get a better view. There we go. Do not remove that stitch from the needle, and now you're going to locate the first stitch on your left hand needle and knit it normally through the front loop. Okay, so we have two stitches on our right hand needle, and now we can pop both of them off. Okay, the next part of this step is to purlwise slip that last stitch back onto your left hand needle. And now we're going to repeat those steps. So knit through the back loop of the second stitch, knit through the front loop of the first stitch. So essentially, we're creating a little left twist with these two stitches, but we're placing that first stitch on the end of the needle back onto the left hand needle and then repeating. So we're going to continue this 
doing these little left twists and then placing the stitch back on the left hand needle. And we're going to do this all across our row of live stitches. So I will meet you at the end and we're going to work to the last stitch on the needle. Okay, so we've created our lateral braid and we've reached our last stitch on our left hand needle. And what we're going to do now is we're going to again place that last stitch on our right hand needle purl wise, slip it onto our left hand needle. And now we're simply going to go in purl wise and knit through the back loop these two stitches together, like so. And that's just going to finish off our lateral braid across the row. If you take a look here, you can just kind of pull out that last little chain so it looks more uniform across the row. Okay, so there's our lateral braid completed. And now what you would do in your pattern is stop using the smaller size six needles. And we're gonna switch over back to our needle that we're using on our particular pattern, which was a size 10 in this case. So we'll just turn our work and now we can continue in stockinette. So I would just purl this next row. And when I get to the end of the row, I'll show you how much better our gauge looks by switching to that smaller needle for our lateral braid and for the row just below it. Okay, so I just completed the following row after our lateral braid was made. And if we turn the work here, you'll see that we're getting a much nicer tension and gauge on that next row of stitches just above our lateral braid. Whereas before, in this little sample here, you'll remember we had really big, loopy, messy looking row of stitches. And that just looks a lot better. So that is how we do the lateral braid technique. I hope you try this out. Thanks for watching.